Today we will be making a very simple keylogger program. Uh, if you don't know what keylogger is, uh, it is a program that saves all the keystroke from your keyboard and saves it for the future review. Uh, it can be both hardware and software. Now we are writing today a simple program using Python for this purpose. So go to the Google and just type of Python to go to the Python programming language official website. Just download the Python software. You can see the different version of the Python in the download page. Just download the one that uh, f uh, suits you. Uh, I'm gonna download 3.3.3, .3 .3, uh, 64 bits version. Uh, after download, uh, after downloading this uh, software, you have to download some modules that you can use um uh with python uh the link is in the description uh just go to this website that i'm showing and just search for pi hook and pi win32 and uh you can see a uh, pi hook here and i'm downloading according to the python software that i just downloaded 3.3 .3 and just uh d um, download it and after this thing we will search for pi win32 uh you can see here pi, pi win32 and you can just download it this uh, 64 version that I downloaded before the Python, uh, the same version. Uh, you can see uh, I have already downloaded this software. Now let's um, I start down uh, installing the software. I start with Python. Uh, it may take some time, but don't worry. And you can see here uh, the window pops up for installing the thing and just say run and it will start installing the thing and see here you have to install just for me if you say install for all users afterwards there there will be a problem so remember just for me and just uh, go through the standard process of installing and, uh, and now the installation of python is finished after the installation is finished uh, and install other the modules uh, we start with pyhook just install here if you get an error. Uh, if uh, it was not found, Python was not found in the registry. It was because you installed Python um, for all users. Just install the Python only for uh, me. Uh, the, uh, you have to ins use the options. Uh, now I have installed PyWin32. You can see now it's uh, finished installing. Uh, now what you have to do is now just make a new folder in your C drive. Uh, you can take any. Uh, drive for this thing I take C and just make a new folder and name it a uh, keylogger and here we will be uh, programming those two those two files and you can see I've already copied these files uh, I will show you what's uh, inside those files um, just go to your uh, start and just open f your Python that you just installed and just click on IDLE Python GUI and after it's open, just uh, you can see here, just click on file and new file. Uh, you can see it's like a uh, notepad and you have to copy there some codes that uh, you can see it on my website. Um, in my case, uh, I have now pasted it and after pasting you can see the file log line. There you write the uh, output um, destination file where you want to uh, save the all the keystroke after it has been uh, uh, saved. Where do you want to save it? I say I want to save it at at the same folder that I created on the C drive. It was C and keylogger. Uh, after keylogger, I I just um, uh, give the name keylogger. It's already saved, but <coughs> I will save it uh, again and just uh, give uh, the name as P -W -P -Y -W. Uh, it will try to save uh, if you don't give it like PYW it will save in the format PY so make sure you have saved in PYW format and after that um, now th actually the uh, keylogger is ready then what you have to do is you have to actually implement this so that the victim will not know so we will create a batch file for that just open a notepad uh, I'm opening the Note plus plus, Notepad++ plus plus, and here you have to type some code and again I already have uh, uh, the code with me uh, I will just copy and paste the thing and you can see on the first line um, uh, give the code where give, give the destination where you have saved your keylogger PYW file that you have uh, that we have saved earlier and on the second line you can see uh, you can write the name of the x86 and Mozilla Firefox and uh, Firefox.exe is the standard installation of Firefox. 
uh, I have after after writing that thing just uh, save it to the same folder or wherever you want to save this patch file I will save it on the same folder as keylog of pyw file uh, it's it was on the C and um, keylogger and I save it as a logger.bat I have already saved it but uh, just to be sure I will save it again logger.bat and I save it there um, now uh, now what I do is I connect uh, the batch file to the s uh, software the Firefox software uh, so that when the when my victim opens Mozilla Firefox he actually activates the software so what I have to do is just right click on the icon and just go to the target menu um, uh, you can see it's a target in uh, English it's a target just change the target to the batch file that you created and it was in C and keylogger and logger.bat you have to write that thing uh, on the target in the C keylogger slash um uh clogger dot b a t <coughs> sorry for that thing uh just uh, apply and uh, uh click ok and you can see the icon of the Mozilla firefox is changed you can see that thing here um to for that thing for changing back to the uh, Mozilla firefox icon just click on change symbol <coughs> and uh see the mozilla firefox icon if it's there if it's not there you can always go to the internet source for the icon of the mozilla firefox and choose that thing uh, for this purpose i will just uh, choose one icon that i see as internet okay like, let's choose this one click ok uh, again click uh, apply and again click ok okay then you can see the icon had changed uh, don't worry if you want the mozilla firefox icon i told you um, already just go to the internet and just download the icon so to save now to save the um, I, uh, keystroke you can see I open that Mozilla Firefox and I started typing um, uh, you can type anything and you you will be able to save it on on the right on the right side you can see there is a new f um, text file generated output dot txt uh, on that file everything that I've uh, that I've been writing here will be saved there now I open the file uh, you you can you can see it's saved that I've already written the all thing before